Hi guys, this is just a short guide on how to draw stability circles and constant gain circles on a Smith chart. Now there are various options to do this. You can use the draw circles on Smith chart option, but then you need to use the RF toolbox and create an RF circuit object, which is quite difficult and out of the scope for this project. You can also use the Smith chart circles toolbox, which has some drawbacks. So I propose using the vis circles function which simply is a function where you input input the center point and the radius of a circle in order to plot it on a figure all right so let's get straight into it i'm going to use examples from this all transistor design excel spreadsheet available on ifundi and okay in order to draw circles on a smith chart firstly you have to plot a smith chart by calling a figure and then just smith chart and telling matlab to hold on now when we calculate the center point and the radius for a constant gain circle we use these two formulas so let's use those values in our vis circles function in order to plot it on our smith chart here all we do is we take the real part of the center point, input it there, and we take the imaginary part, input it there, and then the radius is entered here. And there you have it. You have a constant gain circle on a Smith chart. Now, one of the advantages of this, this method above the Smith chart circles toolbox is that you can select a data point on this constant gain circle in order to select a value for gamma L or gamma S later on. The Smith chart circles toolbox does not have this option, which is a bit problematic when you want to verify that you designed for the correct gain. And then in order to draw stability circles, we do exactly the same. Here's an example, also from the Excel spreadsheet where we take those values calculated there and input them into two different vis circles functions one for the input stability circle and one for the output stability circle and it's exactly the same the real and imaginary parts and the radius and then we just change the color in order to see which one is which and there you have it stability circles and a constant gain circle on the same Smith chart. All right, for any further information on the practical, I take payment in Bitcoins. No, I'm, I'm just joking. Let's look at some examples for you to see how your program, your MATLAB program is supposed to run. Um, I really recommend using the GUI function of MATLAB. It makes it easier to have a logical flow of your program because MATLAB automa automatically creates um, sections in the program when you enter a button it creates a section where you can enter the code that has to be executed when pressing the button so it's a really easy and logical way of creating a flow for, for your program so I have two options here to enter the S parameters manually or to up upload them via CSV. I um, think it's easier to upload it via CSV because it's quite tedious to type in all the values manually. So we are going to upload the parameters from a CSV file. Here at the bottom we can see all the S parameters that is available in the CSV file. For this first example we are going to let the program read from column one and use the data in row one. So let's characterize this transistor, transistor and it is bilateral and it is conditionally stable and it requires stability circles exactly as the example in Excel tells us. All right, so let's draw those stability circles. Here we have them and let's see if the values correspond for the input stability circle we have a radius of 0 0.55 and for the center point we have a magnitude of 
1.37 and a phase of 93 so that's great and it's the same situation for the output stability circle the radius and the center points correspond and then of course the purpose of the stability circles is to determine where the transistor is stable and this is done by look at, looking at some theory in the um, in Gonzales so this is based on this simple concept how to decide on whether the transistor is stable inside or outside of the stability circles let's look at the next example for a unilateral transistor design let's upload new S parameters for this example so we want to use COM1 and row 2 let's characterize the transistor and it is stable and unilateral which is what we require for this example now firstly we're going we are going to calculate the maximum gain and here we see GTU max is 16.47 exactly the same as the Excel spreadsheet so let's look at option 2 which is fixed gain we want to design for 14 decibels and we want to adjust the output and here we have our constant gain circle and we also see the values for the radius and the center point of the circle and we see that they correspond with the calculations here now in order to verify that the gain is correct we should select a any point on this constant gain circle for gamma l let's do that enter those values and there we have it we selected gamma l with that magnitude and that phase and our gain is 14 decibels exactly what we desired so that is correct now let's look at option 3 which is fixed gain for the input stage and here we have the constant gain circle and we can see that the radius and the center points correspond with the Excel spreadsheet and now once again we can verify the gain by just choosing a value for gamma s on the circle because it's the input stage and we should get the same result so let's look at the next example alright so here we just have the unilateral figure of merit which is the method we use to determine whether a transistor is unilateral or bilateral so let's look at the simultaneous conjugate match example we want to use these S parameters so let's upload them we want to use column 1 and row 4 let's characterize it alright so the transistor is stable and it is bilateral exactly what we want so what we want to do here is calculate the values of gamma ms and gamma ml and determine gt max and here we have it gamma ms and gamma ml correspond with the excel sheet and the gain is 18.84 which is correct let's look at the next example Where we have the operating gain all right let's upload those S parameters characterize the transistor it is stable and bilateral so we want to Firstly, see what GP max is, and it is 21.6, which is correct. Then we want to design for fixed gain by adjusting the output 
matching circuit which is the only option in this case so we want 20 decibels on the output and here we have the stability circle and here is the value for the radius and the center point which we can see corresponds very well and then once again we can select a value for comma L to verify our gain and there we have it for this comma L we chose the comma N is collected or calculated as that magnitude in that phase and our gain is 20 decibels which is correct all right the last example the available power gain let's look at this one upload the S parameters all right so this transi transistor is bilateral it is conditionally stable and stability circles are required all right so we want to design for a fixed gain of 10 decibels and we'd like to adjust the input so here we have a constant gain circle with our stability circles and we can see that the constant gain circle corresponds to these values now in order to verify our gain we need to select a value on the constant gain circle in the area where it is stable now in this case um, this transistor is stable outside of the stability circles so we choose a value around here for our gamma s and let's just bring it over here and there we see that for the gamma s we selected with these values gamma out is calculated as this and here our gain is almost 10 decibels which is perfect all right that's it for the example and how your program should work um, this practical shouldn't take you very long as you have all the information you require in this Excel spreadsheet and then you can also use this um, practical guideline which is very comprehensive you even have notes on amplifier design with all the equations you require for this practical so it shouldn't take you long especially with this Excel spreadsheet you can use to verify the calculations in the MATLAB program Alright, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and good luck.